what's up guys welcome back to the channel for another video so i'll be checking out um candy's i want say black people must take responsible for responsibility for slavery all right guys so um i'm gonna be checking out this video and i'm sure that you will leave your comment down below and your point as well all right so let's check it out so Candace Owens has a take on the recent death of Queen Elizabeth, and you'll be shocked to know that she has taken it upon herself to defend British colonialism within this context. Um, this is her job, and she does it, I guess, wholeheartedly. Here she is uh, being an apologist for colonialism for her white conservative audience. But the real truth of the reason why people hate the queen has nothing to do with the colonization. It has nothing to do, which, by the way, just to be clear, um, the Brits invading Africa actually represents, and this is going to get me in trouble, mm. but it was, if you look at how forward it brought the African colonies, it ended up being a net positive. Now, this is, of course, people, it's going to get me in trouble because people somehow think that Africans were living happily ever after and things were great. And then horrible English, British descended upon and murdered everybody and the French suddenly murdered everybody. And that just isn't the truth. Obviously, the African nations had slavery, just like uh, um, the European geez. nations had slavery. Wow. So it's an evil mm. that was not started, did not begin in Europe, actually can actually uh, be traced back to Muslim origins. All right, can you pause it, please? Reason, oh, I'm sorry. Boy, oh, boy. There's a lot. So she's worked at Kelly saying that, um, but she keep repeat. She keep repeating. Oh, this may get me in trouble because you know there are going to be a lot of people that don't agree with what she's saying because what she's saying is like the Africans weren't living happily and goo 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 gaga before the English invade them or anything like that. She's saying they were actually slaves in Africa before the English invade them and that is not because of the English invading them and turning them into slave and all those stuff um caused the country to be like that I guess. So she she's practically saying it was all there. It was all there before they invaded. That's what she's saying. That's why she keep repeating like Oh, this is going to get me in trouble. This is going to get me in trouble because you know there's a lot of people who won't agree with her. Here. There is a lot here. A lot yeah. This is, yeah, this is Daily Stormer stuff, basically. I mean, this is white mm. supremacist talking points that the, the um, if we could just bring it down really quick, like the, the British went to uh, Africa to liberate them. They were primitive and they were uh, not able to construct their own societies. And we, the, the British and the European uh, white saviors went there to liberate them as opposed to like carving up the, the entire continent in a haphazard way that would only be beneficial for capital as opposed to like the explicit purpose of going there to enslave and traffic Africans. That was a net positive? The Royal African Company, what? which was how the, the colonies got their slaves for about 100 plus years? What she's arguing has never not been the argument in favor of colonialism. The idea that the primitive peoples of the world were rather savages and necessitated the yoke of the, you know, the English, the yoke of like the, you know, the Christian uh, missionaries, the yoke of the Dutch, et cetera, et cetera, has always been a talking point for racists and pro-colonialists since the beginning of colonialism. The idea that slavery existed pre, you know, pre, uh, you know, uh, triangle slave trade uh yeah. a new world slave so trade is also a fact that people sort of misinterpret because i mean yeah everyone knows that everyone's seen the prince of egypt like you know speaking about yeah. animated <laughs> movies though not disney we've all seen the prince of egypt what you know what they don't like to acknowledge is that american slavery and like you know american european slavery was inherently different from the slavery and the slave practices that existed previously in the world like a chattel america chattel race based uh like scientific race-based slavery was an invention of like the new world and like the you know post-rational quote-unquote post uh mm -hmm. post-modernity uh europe so yeah it was different not different yeah. in name but different in like all of the other qualities to it in the oh, sense that it created a racialized caste system yeah exactly for for and and 
set the world economy on fire with all that um, labor able to be exploited, right? Like that's how the um, Western hemispheres were settled, that all the work was being done by uh, African slaves often or um, indentured servants. And they were all had like, like it's a, it's a completely different thing than tribal slavery. And it's a net yeah, positive for yeah. say like uh, Europe and like and the Europeans there oh, yeah, because got, you know they both were able those jewels on the queen. They, they, you know that you ha- on one hand we exploited free labor from slaves and trafficked human beings and murdered them and raped them as a way to construct our society yeah. and extract their wealth for uh, without returning yes. it to them. But on the other hand, we ended up feeling kind of really bad about it. So uh, on the whole, though, a net positive. But did we net yeah. positive? Did, right, right. Not not even net we felt bad too. about it, which they will pretend to do sometimes but also that like it, the cost to them the african people was worth it because we dragged them into modernity with us i.e the western world we dragged them from like their you know caves and their like bonfires into the modern world in some ways kicking and streaming and this was just part of an earlier teleological view of like western expansion as well in america the idea that like well yeah the cost to the native peoples here is- so you saying that it is it is practically worth it because because of what they did it gave the Africans reason to step out of their um, culture behind culture and step into the new culture like he's saying like if it was for what happened they would still be behind like they would not be in the new the new nowadays if I should put it like that, like, uh, in a sense, like, in a, in, uh, Let's is high in terms of body but we're saving their spirits or souls we're bringing them to the future the new world and you know the fact is that for the most part we have moved beyond that talking point as a society to acknowledge that like no you know bringing these you know like the modern world to the new world was entirely uh you know i would say it's like a disguise for like brutal colonialism like the, it was purpose the goal wasn't to like spread christianity or to spread uh you know like the queen's sort of philosophy around like every person being equal it was to like steal natural resources and to extract wealth yeah and uh, yeah i mean do we need indian candace owens to come and say like the raj was good too because they built all the railroads <laughs> <laughs> yes. so come on. i mean uh yes. oh, like we know uh, right exactly all right, yeah we on. should get, i just there's a few more interesting tidbits here. yeah yeah she's she's actually honestly seems like she's struggling through this one even her European nations had slavery. So it's an evil that was not started, did not begin in Europe, actually. It can actually uh, be traced back to Muslim origins. And for whatever reason, people have this fantastical rendition of history where they think that it was only white people that ever did anything bad, when in fact the Nobody's- truth <laughs> is that even in terms of our own history, American history, it was the Africans that were selling the Africans to the Europeans. Wow. And usually Pause it. Things as ba- oh, wow. Why did that system get set up? Candace, why was that the case? Wow. Who implemented the system in which that began, that extractive that, that, slave um, trade okay. was happening? A yeah. global colonial capitalist slave trade. Where was the demand coming from for all those slaves that mm-hmm. led them to do? do conti- yeah. uh, there were just like some Africans working on behalf of a colonial system, like something that, and on behalf of a racist system. I mean, like the. It's just because they were forced because that that was the economy that was created. But anyway. I mean, Listen, I think the, Candace the Owens African... is a. No, go, go ahead. On. No, no. I mean, I think everyone else can complete that uh, thought in their head about the par- You know, the, the irony and Candace Owens pointing out. I didn't want to uh, say it. Africans I didn't want to say it. <laughs> we're selling out all their African. It's just you know. I that was what I was getting at, but I was like, should I, should I go there? No, I shouldn't go there. <laughs> He's just like, look at me. You know, like if you if you want proof. <laughs> all right keep going basic as gin and mirrors i talk about this ends that were selling the africans to the europeans and usually for things as basic as gin 
and mirrors. I talk about this in my book. <laughs> like it was at really basic things. And when Europeans set out to end slavery, by the way, it was white men that were the first in the world to abolish the slave trade. Right? People don't like that. Um, fact. Well, yeah. <laughs> very inconvenient fact from the narrative that. Um. Yes. Um. I did hear her talk about that before. That it was for the gin and the glass that they were selling their own people and stuff like that. And that um, um, some people don't. She said, you know, that uh, in a in a in a case, it's like there's no right and no wrong about it because everyone is gonna try to blame, put the blame on the other party. You understand? And she's practically saying that it was all there before. It was all there before. It's not the white that come along and put it in place but like the panel is is um saying um there were where did the market come from in the first place for that to happen you know where did the market come from in the first place that there there must have been a market there um in the first place for them to go along that um way you know so one side is arguing one thing the next side is arguing another thing like i said like it's always just something else i guess everyone's going to form their own opinion where um the old slavery is concerned i think uh, anytime there's a slave revolt that is non-white people deciding that they want to abolish slavery <laughs> um <laughs> they were not empowered enough to do so <laughs> In the end, it was the slave masters who decided to free the slaves. Yeah, exactly. That's oh. totally out of it. And they were just, and they, uh, and they came to that conclusion by dispassionately crunching the numbers in Microsoft Excel and saying, this is inefficient. And by the way, yeah, maybe we should do something else. Yeah, maybe she should take a look at like Haiti's history and the fact that for uh, centuries they were having to pay reparations because they, they had a slave revolt and it, uh, paying reparations to slaveholders because they lost capital or yeah. I don't know like it's, it's just the same logic of the movie like Mississippi Burning the brave FBI mm. came and liberated everybody for the civil rights movement as opposed to just right. the reality of the situation no one, good no one ever gives no one ever gives Robert E. Lee enough credit for losing the civil war <laughs> right. Oh, you know, and also, Haiti is a good example to bring up, too, because a lot of places that, you know, abolished the slave trade or like a lot of people who felt differently about the yeah. slave trade did so after the Haitian Revolution out of a fear of like, you know, what it might lead to personally in terms of violence for white slave owners. And that's why, you know, some places cracked down, some places, you know, abolished slavery as a result. Like It wasn't out of the goodness out of, of anyone's heart. No, there were violent revolutions and uh, rebellions for slaves, but it was just you know, the white people decided after a, also a bloody war here in the United States yeah. that I uh, probably we probably shouldn't do this anymore. This is like the conservative. So uh, the, the panel is saying it's not the goodness of their heart. That's why they ended slavery because of what everything that uh, starting to happen and take place around them. And they realized that they couldn't go along with it anymore that is why they did it but on candy's side candy saying that she's firmly believe that uh they just ended because they wanted to end it and they wanted to put an end to um the slavery and everything that was happening okay so i guess they are going to agree to disagree on their point theory of change like wrapped up in a little like package though like things only change when people in power eventually decide to concede that they mm -hmm. change and so they are the only ones who deserve any like <laughs> any yeah. uh reward for it also as to like which white people were deciding to stand up against slavery it was basically pmc libs in the northeast <laughs> um the type of people that candace owens uh, exist to propagandize against now oh Really? Yeah. And the radicals that they would probably call like socialists today. Oh, absolutely. They yeah. have them locked up. Right. Keep going. White people are evil and backwards. They were not the first to do it, but they were the first to end it. That is the truth. I think it was Fra France first, followed by the UK, followed by America that France ended the slave first? trade. How that happened? It was actually, it was the UK the first, that Africans is, yeah. that fought and said, "No, we want to maintain the system of slavery because it is good for us." So 
This is something, as I said, that can be traced back to people just being extremely ignorant about history because everything has literally mm. been transformed into mm. a black and white narrative mm -hmm. pun very that much intended. Mm. Yeah, yes, who capitalized, uh, if you can do that, uh, who capitalized so on that system, right? Like, the proof is in the pudding. Like, why is Charleston, South Carolina, why does that exist, right? Who built that? <laughs> uh and why is it like why is it still exist to this day and it's because the the capital was over here and uh including and <laughs> uh laborers that, that they literally looked at it as like a capital investment we own these people as um property like it's it's very obvious that this is not a uh it's, it's not a well she doesn't even think it's like a two sides she's saying like actually the africans are the bad guys here yeah are we good with her? That's it? That's it? Well, I mean... The Royal Africa Company. Look it up, folks. Look it up. I learned a lot today about who's at fault for slavery. I would have gone in thinking the slave masters, but I've come out thinking the slaves. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so much and Kanye that. West pilled, I guess. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a choice. <sighs> you turned into Candace. Tuned into Candace for more of that. Welcome to Candace. Every day, um, Candace chooses to be free. Why didn't the slaves? Exactly. Oh, uh, interesting. This is so interesting. <laughs> wow, so I can see him there. Okay, so I, I'm both sides make um, good points. You know, there's a lot of people that don't agree with what Candace is saying. There's a lot. And there are going to be a lot of people who don't agree with what the panel is actually saying. You know, each person, each side made their own um, pint and pint out certain things that everyone will have to um, decide for themselves, you know. But I guess it's time to just move past all of this and we all work together for the good as a people, as a nation, you know, like it's, it's, it's it's been centuries it's been centuries ago you know so i don't think it should be of course it there always going to be history and it's going to be a part in our life but we, we we don't have to live by it like you know get up every day and dwell on it like you know and i can get what they are saying i can get um what they are saying she's always um like pointing out certain things but she never comes and like say well you know, there's also another side to everything and to what happened and why it started and why there was also a market or stuff like that. So I kind of get it. All right. So leave your comment down below. I know everybody's going to agree to disagree. So I'll catch you guys in another reaction video, guys. Bye.